Now I love a bushwalk. Some of my friends love a bushwalk. One of the grievances you get from bushwalking in Australia is that the bush all looks the same. Now with a lot of sandstone around and with over a thousand species of eucalypts, I can understand why people feel that way. But there are places where you can come to and find completely un-Australian environments. Usually you're gonna find somewhere where you've got a lot of water. And usually you'll find them in a valley. So somewhere down the bottom where the weather stays cool, all of a sudden you get what's called a microclimate. Now a microclimate produces different weather conditions to the surrounding environments. And this results in different species growing in that area. In this particular one, we can see a lot more, well, mixed in amongst the weeds, a lot more rainforest species in here. We see a lot more ferns, a lot more vines. As we come out of the valley, we go up a ridge line and we see there's a lot more sandstone around. There's also a lot more open area, there's a lot more light penetration through here. And all of a sudden, we see a change in species to what might be considered your usual bushland species. So, plenty of eucalypts around. It's a little more sparse through here, it's not so dense in the shrubbery. We see a lot less ground cover around. Okay, so there's less ferns and species like that. There's more what we might consider your Australian grasses around. Now the only way to go out and find these different environments in the Australian bush is to get out there and have a look yourselves. Could not recommend it more. It's a good excuse to uh, take the dog for a walk.